create a board games and puzzles e-commerce website on Weebly. Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own online store using this platform. So let's get started by clicking on the sign up button to create a new account. And if you already have an account, just go with login and type in your email or your username. And after typing your email, you click on next to proceed to type in your password. So just give it a few seconds to load. As you can see, it's loading. And after typing your password, you click on login. After logging in, the first step of creating your store is choosing a name for the store. So it doesn't matter what name you give it now. You can always change the name later. After typing the name, click on continue. Then you have a question and you have three answers. You choose the answer that fits you. Then you do the same with this other question. And then you proceed to choosing the category of the items that you will be seeing. So my store is in the niche of board games and puzzles. So I'm going to choose tick products, I think, or I'm going to choose also jewelry and accessories and tick products. So I'm going to choose these two categories. I feel they are more close to my niche. And if you can't find your niche or anything closer to it, just go with other, then click on continue. After that, if you already have a, a store in the real world, you type in the, the address to that store. If not, just skip this step. Then you wait for them to build your store and then you will proceed to your dashboard. As you can see, this is the dashboard. And here in your right, you have the edit site button and also the, the design now button. And both of them take us to the editing phase. And in your left, you have nine sections. And I'm going to go through each one of these sections and explain it for you, starting from website where we have the edit site button again. Then we have the domains button where you can set your domain name or change the one that you already have. Then we have the items section where you have the site items. And it's where you can create new products or delete the ones that you already have. Then we have the site categories where you can create categories or adjust the ones that you already have. Then we have options, coupons, gift cards, customer reviews and item preferences. And that's it for this section. We have then orders, which is a new section, and it's where you can see or check all of your products to see the fulfilled one, the shipped one, and the cancelled the cancelled one. Then we have the fulfillment section where, where you can set your pickup settings and your shipping settings also. Then we have the reports section where you can check or see all of your site's traffic reports the site's activity reports, sources reports, online sales reports, and so on. And if you want to see the summary of all these reports, just go with summary. And that's it for this section. Then we have the marketing section, and it's where you can find every tool that is related to growing your audience, starting with email to automated to ads, mailing lists, segments, and setup. And again, if you want to see the summary of all these tools, you just go with summary and that's it for this uh, for this other for this other section then we have the communications section where we have the email and text alerts pop-ups messenger and abundant cards and last but not least we have the settings section where you have the general settings and it's where you can set your company name or change the one that you already have change your email change your address and your phone number so here this is where you can do all of that change your company name your address your email and your phone number then we have the checkout where you can set your payment processors like connecting your stripe account or connecting your paypal account then we have the sales taxes where you can set your tax settings then we have the units where you can change your language and also edit your units. So that's it guys for these sections. 
let's close this one and let's go back to the overview then let's click on the edit side button to proceed to the editing phase so here as you can see it's loading it will take just 15 minutes or less to build your site and to be fully loaded so just give it a few seconds and here we have the setup guide if you want to go with it if not just ignore it it will disappear right now and they will show the styles as you can see this is the styles and basically the idea is you choose a style from these ones and then you check if it fits your template then you proceed to the site's design so just wait for the template to be fully loaded as you can see it's fully loaded then we choose one of these styles so I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to check if it fits my star so I think this one meets my requirements then click on apply site styles and here we proceed to the site design as I said before and here if you want to change the style again and if you want also to add an image to be your logo change colors change fonts which I'm going to change from Poppins to Comforta which is this one and then I'm going to make it 1.20 or even bigger let's leave it like that then click on done after that if you want to change the shape of the buttons so here I'm going to leave it as rounded and for images I'm going to change it to rounded also then click on done after that click on done and if you want to search for a domain name just type the domain name in here if not just close this one and dismiss all dismiss again and here we have the plus button if you want to add a new section page item or category and here you have all of your sections your header your footer your footer branding if you want to change all of these if you want to delete one of them or if you want to duplicate it by these three dots you can duplicate it and if you want also to delete it as you can see so that's it guys for today's video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends.